Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can implement a heart system for displaying your health on screen. So, as usual, I've got some things set up. I've got a sprite, and this sprite has seven images, zero through six, starting with no health, going all the way up to full health by halves. So, closing out of that, we also have an object for the heart, and we've assigned the sprite, and then I have an object for the player. And if we just go into the room, I'm gonna go ahead and add these objects. And that's super small, so I'm gonna scale it up. And when I run the game, it will be pretty blurry, but that's okay, it's just for showing the effect. And go ahead and add the player object. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is in the create event of our player, we're gonna add a variable called global dot P for player health and we're gonna set it equal to six. Then we're gonna close out of that, and we're gonna add a step event. And all we're gonna do in this step event is subtract from our health when we press the space bar, just for testing purposes, of course. So if keyboard check pressed vk underscore space our global dot player health is going to minus equal one. One more thing we want to do in the step event of our player is make sure that the health never goes below zero or above six. So to do that, we're going to say if global.phealth is less than zero, and we're just going to set global.phealth back equal to zero. And then we can just copy that, paste it down, and say if it is greater than six, it's going to equal six. That'll just make sure that it can never be less or greater than zero and six. All right, so we're done with the player. We've got a variable called P health, and it's set to six. So if we go back into our sprite, you'll notice that there is sub images zero through six. So how we're actually gonna do this is in the heart object, we're gonna add a step event. And the code we are going to add is going to say image index equals global dot p health. So going from six, which has our heart containers full of health, all the way down to zero, which has our health completely depleted. One more thing we want to add is a create event. And we're just going to set the image index equal to six and the image speed equal to zero we don't have to set the image index here i'm just doing it for a safety precaution and the image speed set to zero will make sure that it doesn't animate in a loop all right so with that if we run the game you'll see on screen we have these super blurry hearts that's because i scaled it up massively just to show it off but if I press the space bar, our health goes down by one. Our health is now five. We have two and a half hearts left. Press it again, two hearts. Again, one and a half. One, half, and none. So this was just a really simple tutorial showing you guys how you could implement a sort of Zelda-like heart system. And I'm actually going to say Zelda-like because this is also going to be me announcing that when Zelda Breath of the Wild comes out, I will be doing a Let's Play of it on the channel. Hope you guys are okay with that. I'm just a huge Zelda fan. I've always been a Zelda fan. It's one of the games I grew up with, and it would mean the world to me if I got to share my experience playing Zelda Breath of the Wild for you for the very first time. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. As always, I'll see you guys next time.